first of all start with putting the values in the excel sheet that is given in the description below uh, note that you have to input the module the number of teeth and the pressure angle in this excel sheet to get all the data now create a sketch first of all create a center circle it should be construction uh, first of all let's do the redundant circle using the redundant circle diameter moving on let's do the pitch circular diameter uh, that means the pitch circle using the pitch circular diameter now the addendum circle using the addendum circle diameter Now selecting an axis you have to create three lines first of all it would be the C1 which is 24 and the C2 should be 12 it was a calculation mistake on my at the my end 24 confirm It is written 6 but it would be 12. We have to do it twin two times and to make sure it is alright. It should intersect with the pitch circular circ circumference. The correction was made later on that is 12 and again 12 like so now we have to create two circles one point this point it would be the c2 with the radius with the radius and from this point with 12 at the, as the radius that is the C1 as the radius. Uh, you should always try to trim all the excess parts because it can hamper the results later on. Create a circle construction of course from the center to the point of intersection of the two circles that were last created. This would be the base circle. Trim off the excess, like always. Alright. Now it's time. To create the tooth profile. First of all, look at the tooth thickness, then taking a line segment, take it from pitch the pitch circle from the center to another point on the pitch circle, like this. It is the third circle from the center if you have trouble make remembering it. Then taking the circular pitch, you have to take, make two intersections you might say, from the pitch circle, the points that I've mentioned in the tooth thickness, uh, to the base circle. Now 
these should be the circular pitch ones like this making sure that nothing is off you don't have to be this much this much particular but i like things being proper now create a circle with the circular pitch as the radius before that you should always clean up from the base circle to the pitch circle on the point the points that were created like this and then you have to remove all the excess lines or else problem would arise let's fast forward the trimming process the next step is to create a line segment from one point of the base of the tooth to another point this would act as the axis Remove all the constraints carefully then uh, as shown in the video if you don't remove them it would be a little bit of a problem. After removing them you should move the or rather rotate the face as shown in the video. The angle should be the angle of the face then patch it up to make it a face. Now select the plane as shown here to create the body of the gear. It the base should be the diametrum circle, but it should be not the diameter but half of it. Then this one is the 45 degree angle because I have chosen 45 degree for the angle of the face. The right one is the thickness of the face. And the left line is for the width of the gear. Now rotate, revolve it using the revolve tool and loft the face previously created to the point of intersection at that point. Now create the number of tooth previously described in the excel sheet and ok now create a sketch like this one on the plane previously used and rotate it to you to remove the excess of the gear parts or rather the tooth parts using the cut tool now give the top surface of the gear some contours so that it looks good and a hole so that an axle can be passed through using the extrude remove however you like it now create a hole then join or combine it to form a new component and it should be done I hope you like the video if so please give a comment down below Now, if you are using this method of making bevel gears, you don't need to form pairs to form two or more to form the bevel gears. You just need to follow the constraints as 
given in the excel sheet and you will get perfectly constrained bevel gear and you also need to remember the face width and the thickness of the bevel gear so that nothing goes wrong